of a mother and 10 year old child who were shot and killed inside their apartment on Sunday night, just wrapping up a vigil in their honor. As ABC Action News reporter JJ Burton reveals, they died after an argument about watching football. Welcome to Crime Circus. This man's son was interrogated for a double killing on this channel. Now sit back and enjoy. Anyway, you like us. So what he did was, uh, just so it can be accurate, I don't have to write down every single word that, 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 we, that we talk about. I turned on the recorder in here, that way it captures everything, okay? That's fine. Um... Hey, you say we're starting to let it go, be right I'm Detective Florio. Um, today's date is Monday, October 22nd. The time is 3.09 p.m. Also with me is Detective Tabor. ABN 218707. And um, we're present with Sir. Could you state your first middle and last name? Edward Allen Johnson. Is it uh, A-L-A-N or A-L-L-E-N? A-L-L-E-N. Got it. What's your date of birth, sir? 13 November 1953. And you are Tyrone's father? Yes, I am. Okay. Sir, what is your name? Edward Al Sharon Johnson. A L S H A R O N E. And what is your date of birth, sir? December 1st, 1973. And what is your relationship to Mr. Tyrone? Brother. Brother? Okay. Um, I understand you all just drove in from South Carolina? Yeah. Okay. Um, Mr. Johnson, last night um, we obviously there was an altercation that happened uh, here in Tampa involving your son. Um, the 911 call was placed, and on the other end of the 911 call, I can hear another voice going and um, interviewing Tyrone. He had told me that he was on the phone with you at one point in the night. Um, before we get started, could you raise your right hand? Swear for him and tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. What time did he call you? Yeah. And how did he call you? His, his actual phone is off. Okay. So he was able to contact me through, uh, uh, what you call a thing, Facebook? Messenger. Messenger. The video. The gotcha. video thing. Okay. Uh, for three minutes, eight seconds. Okay. So it ended at, uh, no, yeah, it was three minutes, eight seconds, Sunday at 6.36 p.m. Okay. And the, is that when the call ended or was that when the call began? Uh, that's when it begun. Okay. Was that the only phone call? 
that was the only one that he called me then i after the phone of appeared to be disconnected then i just try calling him back over and over and over and then i got him uh it appears as if i got him that's a good missed call okay that's when i called again i called him again at 6 40. didn't get him uh, i called him again mm -hmm. 6 42 Again at 6.42, again at 6.44, again at 6.46, okay, that was the last time, 6.46 was the last time we talked and they did not show how long it lasted. Okay. But it's 640, 642, 642, 644 answer? Uh, no. No. But at 646, you believe that's when he did pick up the phone? Uh, that's when he picked up, man. I could faintly hear, I, I guess, you or someone on the other end. Okay. And I'm trying to ask, I'm steady trying to ask him, what's going on? What's wrong? What happened? Okay. And uh, what's the address? Right. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, he was he was frantic. Well, let, 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 let's back up a little bit. Sure. When he first got, when he first called me, mm -hmm. uh, just like me and you sitting there talking, you know, sure. video, video chat, he was just frantic. And I'm like, you know, what's wrong? Come get me, come get me tomorrow. I got to get out of here, come get me. Son, what's wrong? Uh, days, days, uh, what was the quote? They said something about my dead son, okay. which his son did kill himself. Christmas Eve night. New Year's Eve night. New Year's Eve night. New Year's Eve night. Okay. okay. And I'm like, son, cool down. Talk to me. Cool down. What's going on? Then he yelled, you know, stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. And then it, it appears that the phone dropped. Okay. And then, uh, then vaguely, you know, I could hear Tupac. I, I deal with weapons every day. Okay. So I, I know it was gunshots. Or sound to be, appear to be gunshots. Okay. And... Once again, uh, the phone the phone went dead, and I just kept calling, 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 calling. When I did get him that last time, and hearing that voice, that other end, the uh, the other end, you know, and um, you know, what's the address? Titi, what happened, son? What what's going on? What's the address? And then I think a couple of times he said, I'm talking to the police. So I said, well, okay, so I, I just stopped trying after that. Okay. I did tell them, I said, have the police call me, but I knew you guys wasn't going to call me. <laughs> well, to, to be completely honest with you, I was trying to get your number from him, but he said it was on his phone, mm -hmm. and his phone was inside the apartment. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't, at that point in the night, we didn't have a search warrant. We, we were in the process of getting the search warrant for the, for the house, mm -hmm. so I wasn't about to go start searching for something that yeah. without the search warrant yeah. in the house. So my goal today was at some point to get through that phone it's been a long night so and i've been over at the medical examiner's office all day so unfortunately i haven't had a chance to do that but i appreciate you reaching out to us and everything so we can actually talk not a problem um, no, no, you, you go ahead so but the the first phone call you said was a video chat correct mm -hmm. so can you describe to me can you see anything besides him Talking because usually on a video chat you're talking like this on the phone, right? Right, the phone was directly in, in front of him. Periodically, I saw a hand come in. Okay. All right, and after about the second, second or third flurry of hand, a hand coming in, you know, then he said, "Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me!" I'm like, "Son, what's going on? Stop hitting me!" Mm -hmm. And then that's when the phone dropped. Okay. 
when the phone drops, can you see anything else, or does it, like, does the screen go black, like, what, what, what? Uh, it didn't go black, just like, if, if I'm recording me here, all right, and the phone dropped, the angle just went away from, there was no one there. Okay. Okay. Was it to the ceiling, or just like? Duh. I don't exactly, I can't exactly say whether it was a ceiling, a wall, you know, but, but no, no, no person was, was in the image. Did you know, did you know who he was living with? Yes. Who was he living with? Stephanie, I, I know her as Stephanie Chisholm. Okay. How, how long have you known her? Not very long. So, so, well, when you say know her, I, I don't personally know her. Okay. I know of her. Right. Okay. And uh, I would say maybe, maybe six months to a year. Okay. Okay. Can you, does he, did Tyrone ever talk about their relationship with one another? Ironically, last time I spoke with him was about maybe two, three weeks ago, and he was saying, you know, hey, hey, everything was fine. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and, uh, you know, we, you know, have a little ups and downs, but, you know, every, everything is good to go. Okay. I was like, cool. Good. You know, and then this. Um. Have, so you said you you know of her. You, you, have you ever actually met her in person? Yes. Okay. And, uh, I met her at his graduation. Where were we? We were here. He graduated. Uh, uh, he, he obtained another degree. Was it December? Was it December? Uh, I think so. Who, who was it who obtained another degree? My son Tyrone. Tyrone. Okay. And uh, I. I before that, I'd seen her, but that was the first time that we spent any time together, you know, which basically entailed walking up to the school and, you know, hey, hello, and helping T to get his gown straight away. We sat together. Mm -hmm. Her and my wife sat side by side. They chit chatting, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, one time prior to that, my wife and I came down there for what? Or was that for the grad? That was for the graduation. Yeah, was for the graduation. And they came over to the hotel that that we were staying at. Okay. And the same hotel we had. Now. I think it was June the twelfth. June. June the twelfth. That was back in June. Okay. Of this year, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what what questions do you have of me? Uh, I have a problem. <laughs> the, the Miss Jones did call me back, mm -hmm. and she told me that you know she was going to check the property and make sure that the car was there. I would be able to get it. Yada yada yada. Anyway, the car's not there, and like we have talked before, uh, I guess seventy two hours somewhere. When he's put in, we can't see him or talk to him within seventy two hours. I guess my problem is number one now. Where's the car? Okay. I, I I know this may not be the time for me to ask him that, but I need to know it's my car. Okay. Sure. Uh, I know that uh, that uh, he had, had problems with it and it was in a shop somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I was under the impression that he had gotten it out, and this was maybe a month, maybe a month, a month and a half ago, maybe. Somewhere in that time frame. That's one of the reasons why I would like to talk to him. Hey, hey guy, where's the car and what the hell happened? Okay. He alluded to, um, when we talked to him last night, that he still had some property because from what he told us, he said that he had some uh, medical procedure or surgery a couple of weeks, about three weeks ago on, yeah, his, on his foot. We could see the bandage on, on, on his foot and everything, so I, I, I believe that. Um, he alludes to still saying he still had some property inside inside the car. Um, it just we didn't ask about a car really because it had nothing to do with what we were, okay. what we were might, talking might about. In, might be in her car. I, um, I don't know. But I, I just it wasn't on my mind to, to talk, talk about a car at, at that point or anything. But um, I know the apartment complex uh, possibly could tow cars, stuff like that. Did 
Did you go over to the complex? Yeah, we went over there. We spoke with Ms. Jones, a very nice lady. Initially, she said that she could not give us any information, which I understand. Sure. And she said before I would be even allowed on property to retrieve the car, you know, you guys would have to release or give the okay. And that's when I spoke to you again, Detective. And then she called me back and said, okay, no problem. You can have the car. You know, I have to ensure that you're all the owner, proof of insurance, registration, all this other stuff. So, hey, no problem. I would have to get a key made. Got in touch with the locksmith. I went to lay to get a key made. And then she finally called back and said, I can't. The car's not here. I rode all over the property. The car's not here. Okay. So. We can, we'll look into that in a minute. If not, I'll drive through that complex and just ensure it's there or not there. Okay. But I'll do that for you. That's not a problem. Thank you. Is there any other questions that you have that I may be able to answer for you right now? Just right back to what happened. What started this whole thing? It appears there was some type of altercation, verbal altercation between the two of them. From there, that's where things might differ from his version of events to the evidence at the scene. It's a tragedy, to say the least, for everybody involved. Yeah. Okay. I feel for you all because you all have to deal with this just like the Chisholm family and Willis family has to deal with this. Because everyone lost somebody. I can't get into much detail of what happened in that scene. Just know it was extremely, extremely violent. Okay. With that being said, I just can't go into any more detail about it from there. But just know that we talked to Tyrone. Obviously, he called 911 and immediately told the deputies, told the dispatch what happened. And the deputies came and he was fine. He wasn't injured, nothing of that sort at all. Can I ask you, does he have any mental illness issues, anything that you're aware of? He has been into the VA here for, what do you want to call it, mental illness, depression, things of that nature. Yes. He mentioned something about PTSD to us. I don't know whether they had finished evaluating him, but I guess he had some PTSD going on. Okay. What branch of the military was he in? Army. Well, Army and Marines. Army and Marines? Yeah. Okay. He started out in the Marine Corps. Yeah. Okay. And something happened and he ended up going in the Army. When he, how long did he serve? He was in the Corps, but he did his whole first enlistment. He was in three or four years in the Corps. And then he got off for a while and went into the Army. I know he went to Japan, stayed in the base up there in North Carolina for a while. Went to school. He's probably in that. I don't think he did that full enlistment. That enlistment was either three or four years. In the Army you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Did he ever serve in any, did he ever see any combat? No. No? Okay. Do you know, when was the last time prior to last night speaking to him? About two, two, two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Was it around the time of the surgery or after the surgery? Right the day of and a couple of days afterwards. Okay. Where was he staying at that point? With her. With her? Okay. He was going out to the park and swinging the swing. You know, I said, okay. 
Okay, cool. Hey, Pop, everything's good. I said, okay, stay off your foot. Right. Did he uh, ever talk about the boy? Uh, he mentioned, well, the, the boy loved uh, wrestling. Oh, yeah. I can tell. <laughs> He, he loved wrestling. And, uh, he said, "You know, he's an average, hard kid." Sure. Yeah. Right. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to go back to when he uh, first called you on Facebook Messenger, and you said you could hear him saying, "You know, stop hitting me, stop hitting me." Right. And you said that you saw some other hands come in to the picture. Right. Whose whose hands were those? It appeared to be. An adult female hand. Okay. You know, like I said, I don't, I haven't been around Stephanie that much to say that it definitely was her, but it, it was an adult hand and appeared to be an adult female hand. And what, what, what was that hand doing? Uh, he was standing with the phone like this. Okay. Okay, because I, I had a, a direct sh shot, and I could see the, the hand coming from. But the hand kept brushing him, like come in here and, and brush. Okay. Uh, I said brush, but you know, hidden and slide off. And that happened, I would say, probably two, three times. Could you tell what position Tyrone was in at the time that was going on? Like, could, was he standing? Was he? I know he was using a knee roller. Was he on the knee roller? Was he on the ground? Mm -hmm. It appears as if he was standing, but if he's on a knee roll, I'm, you know, he's just still high up. Okay. I, I, I couldn't say. To me, it appears as if he was standing. Could you hear, besides him saying, stop hitting me, stop hitting me, did you hear anybody else say anything? Uh, the, uh, once again, I, I assume it was, was Stephanie. It was more gibberish than anything else. You know, she's, you know, she's yelling and, and just... Ranting, I, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you exactly what she was saying. Almost the same way. I couldn't tell you word for word. Uh, what were some of the? Do you, do you remember some of the words? Oh my goodness! Oh, shucks. You got to go. I do recall that. She's saying that to him. She's saying that to him. And his his, his reply was his his return was. Uh, don't worry, I, I'm going. Daddy, y'all come get me. Okay. And you said you had you heard how many faint shots? Two. Did you hear anything after that? No. Did you ever see the little boy on the on the video? No. No. Did he ever tell you what happened? No. <laughs> I know you said you were trying to call him. Yeah. Well, that's all I have right now. Um, again, I'm sorry we can meet under these conditions, sir. Understand. Um, is there anything else that? Uh, uh, I, I know I'm pushing the envelope. And probably ain't nothing you can do about it. We leave it out here tomorrow. Sure. We lose a draw. You know, we we got to go because there's nothing, nothing we can do. Uh, uh, as far as the car is concerned, hey, that's water on the bridge. You know, push comes to shove, it's water on the bridge. I get back to you for letting know that. Uh, I don't know where the car's at. No, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. You know, they're going to want the tag, but what I tell them? Well, after 72 hours, you know, there's different ways you can communicate with him when he's in jail. You can set it up through the phone system. That's one way. You can also um, get online and actually do a, uh, like an internet visit. You can actually sit at home on your computer and do a video chat with him. You can set that up. So whenever he's, whenever he's, his time's up and he's able to have those calls, and those privileges, you can set that up, and then maybe you can address that question with him, like, hey, bud, 
where's the car? Okay, great. It may, it may be as simple as just being in the shop. Yeah. We just don't know yet. Yeah, great. I see. I, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, what website do I go under or what? We'll give you a card with the website great. address on it. Great. <clears throat> And from there, it's usually, it, it's a it's our main website, and you, you go to, I believe it's online, and there's, a, there's you just have to look, kind of scroll through it, and you can see um, where the jail information is. Okay, so one, once I do that, uh, there's probably a registration, something like I'm sure there's some type of sort of fee yeah. associated with it or whatnot, and everything to set yeah. it up, but um, well, I, well, it, it should, it should it explain it, it. Yeah, but, I, but I'll, I'll make sure that you have the website for okay. that. Um, That's all I got. You know, right. uh, I hate to meet you guys under this situation, but uh, my wife, she's she's just she's torn. She was going to come with some. Oh, you you stay home. I mean, now the whole she's with but the daughters. You know, everybody's tore up on the ground. I can imagine. All right. Um, We'll follow you outside. I'll get you that car. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, before you find it in this phone, I did get him also. Okay. Um, at uh, 6.52. And that call was for 2 minutes and 52 seconds. He didn't talk to me. You guys were, he was on the phone, but I could hear him on the phone with I guess the 911 operator. Okay. And then I heard when law enforcement came into the house. Okay. And was speaking to him, and then the phone went dead. Okay. After that, and then I kept calling and calling to try to get him. And that was via Facebook Messenger as well. Okay. Is your name on Facebook? Uh, Edward Al Sheron Johnson. Okay. So that, that okay so. Because what, what I'm, what I'm going to eventually do on this is get all the records from all those to show the phone calls and whatnot and everything, just yeah, so we can... Mine shows up as Edward A. Edward A? Edward A. Johnson. Okay. And, and we, we've known Stephanie, you know, my dad doesn't, but we've known Stephanie as kids because we all grew up together. That's, that's what Tyrone um, tells us. In the community, and we're actually kin through marriage. <laughs> my, my mother's brother is married to her aunt and so we've all known each other all of our lives basically so this is a tragedy for both sides of the family because we live in each other's mouth and nobody knows what to say or do I, I, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes <laughs> right now um, there's not much there's not much words I can say to try to console you or try to give you any words of advice at this point. Um, again, it's just a very, very, very tragic situation for, like I said before, everyone involved. Y'all included with the Willis's and the Chisholm. Without a doubt. And he's been charged with, uh, with first, second degree murder? The, the second degree murder applies to uh, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. The first degree felony murder applies to the child. So that's that's what we're looking at. Uh, this is a long process. Okay, this is one of those. This is one of those. This is one of those things that's. Uh, I can tell you. Uh, uh, well, I'm not a. Uh, I I can't predict the future. But what I can tell you is, um, I believe this will probably go for quite some time. Okay. Um, I'll be in contact with you throughout. That is my direct line of information. Do you read the website on the back of that? Perfect. Okay. That's for the uh, the jail stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what I'll do is I'll get your phone number and all that out there. There's that, that's the way I have it. And I'll call you. I'm going to take a ride up to that complex to see, um, and I'll get the tag information from you and whatnot for the car. I don't have the tag. Number. Okay. Is it a South Carolina tag on it? It's a South Carolina tag. Uh, what kind of car is it? It's a duh. Suzuki Forenza. What color? The uh, brown, the uh, gold, you know, it's, it's brown. Goldish brown? Yeah. Okay. Suzuki With a South Carolina tag. That shouldn't be, too, that should be too hard to find if it's there. No. Uh, I do have a VIN. I'll take it.
we can run it through our databases too to see if it's been towed or impounded yeah. somewhere or something. And if that's the case, I'll give you that. We'll, we'll give you that information that way you can maybe square it away with, with them. Well, Ms. Jones said nothing had been towed, so. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. What year is the car? 2007. 2007. Okay. Is it two door or four door? Four. Mm -hmm. Give you some time. Let me run through there. I just got a couple of things I got to do in the office here, but I'll call you and let you know either way. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Um, and if it if it's there, great. If not, then we'll um, I'll, we'll obviously run the bin through the through our database too, just to make ensure that if it was towed or not. Okay. Uh, and speaking with Ms. Jones, I, I I did tell her right before she looked and said that it wasn't there. You know, I, I did find a locksmith who's going to charge all my day to. <laughs> to make a key, but he make one. Uh, so I said, hey, look, that won't happen today. To, uh, and if it is there, that probably won't happen tomorrow either, you know. Right. It takes money to run up and down that road. Sure. So uh, if it is by chance there, I would have to, between me and her, contact her back, say, hey, look, you know, will it be okay? You stay here for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be an agreement that me and her would have to come up with, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right, then. All right. I do have a question. Sure. It was just puzzling me. We've been watching the updates on the Channel 13. Okay. Tampa. And we've seen from an argument about football to just a domestic dispute and we don't know what's true is that just the media or is that stuff they're feeding from you guys or i don't know who's who speaks to the media i need to the media okay uh, in cases what i can tell you is this there was from what we understand some type of verbal altercation um, that more than likely began over an argument over what was on television Okay, and from there it escalated further. Okay, and the comment that you had made about um, the suicide, that also came up in, in conversation. Okay, so you can imagine how much emotions probably were going through there at, at a certain point. Yeah, and that just, that just pushed him because you know, he, he, he never really recovered off of that. So, um, but unfortunately, I just can't get into any more detail with you. But, but, uh, but, uh, uh, if, hopefully, that answers your question a little bit for you. Um, from there, I mean, you know, obviously, it goes from there, and you know, there's there's details that are going to come out. You know, I mean, I don't know what I can't control what what goes out to to the media. Um, not saying that's a good thing, bad thing, or indifferent. Indifferently, but you know, all I can do is just present the facts of what I what I know. Okay. Um, do you have any other questions, sir? Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, I can't hate to meet you guys like this. Well, yeah. yeah. Push you on the bus a lot. Yes. And I'll call you. 
do it as soon as, as soon as I have an answer for you. Appreciate it. The verdict is in guilty of two counts of murder. That's what the jury has handed down in the capital murder trial of Tyrone Johnson. Johnson gunned down his girlfriend and her 10 year old son three years ago. Well, now Johnson could face execution in the penalty phase yeah. of the case. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe. Also, please donate if you can. Thanks. And remember to stay safe because you know it's a dangerous world.